So I had a situation with a student recently. Uh, he basically came to me. He got into a situation uh, with the girl that he was talking to. So, um, you know, he started talking to this girl. Uh, it was at a party. And it got kind of heated. They, she said, um, "Oh, you probably wouldn't know. You know, probably wouldn't know a lot about that." And he's like, "Oh, actually, I do know a lot about that." And he's proceeded to try and put her in her place. Um, and then she reacted negatively to that. And uh, then it just kind of escalated, you know, one on top of the other, until eventually they both ended up parting ways, hating each other. And he was still angry about it. You know, even when we talked about it, you know, it was like a couple days afterwards. He was still angry about that situation. You know, he came in hoping to make a connection with this girl and he, they ended up repelling each other like, <laughs> like magnets. Okay. Um, and this reminded me a lot about, um, this reminded me a lot about, like what used to happen to me when I was younger. Okay, now look guys, there's just some girls you're not gonna get along with. Um, but if you're anything like me uh, when I was younger, I used to get into arguments with women all, I used to get into arguments with people in general all the time, but a lot of times with women, okay? I would go out, I was in my uh, early 20s I think, and like almost every night I was getting into some sort of like spat. And for me, I actually really enjoy uh, that sort of stuff, that kind of energy. Uh, but when I'm doing it with a, with a, with a girl that I like, <laughs> sometimes it can get bad. Actually, sometimes if you get into that kind of like argument, you can, you can channel that energy. And if you take it into somewhere positive, you can actually like generate some good flirty energy between it's like sexual energy between the two of you. Um, and it could be fun, but a lot of times it doesn't happen. It, it ends up with you guys, you both getting mad at each other and it just doesn't work out. And both of you end up feeling kind of like not good afterwards. And sometimes like I would be like fuming, um, after, after whatever it was like, uh, um, I wouldn't get into a whole lot of like political arguments, but it would just be like people being rude to me or I, I perceive them being rude to me or something like that. And I would take umbrage of it and I would just want to like lash back out at them. Okay. And it sounds like that's what this guy was kind of doing. Okay. Now, if you are, if you feel like this is happening to you, where you are getting into some, or you are afraid about getting into some arguments, I highly recommend that you watch this video because I'm going to tell you why it's just, <laughs> it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it to get into these kind of situations with women that you like, or with women in general, like honestly with people in general too, but like a lot of, if, if in a dating context, definitely with women, okay? Because I used to go out and this would happen to me all the time. And I remember my buddy, he called me up and we were talking about like the night previous and he goes, bro, like, why you keep getting into these arguments with girls? Like, why do you keep doing that? And I'm like, well, because they're being rude or she was being like, she said some some shit that was wrong or, or whatever it was. And like, I'm saying all this stuff and he's like, dude, who cares? Who cares? It doesn't matter. And I let that sit for a little bit. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. Like, do I really think I'm going to convince her of my opinion over this? Probably not. Maybe there's a chance she'll hear my point. Probably not. Is convincing her going to make my life any better? Probably not. Okay? There's going to be people that have differences of opinion than me. That's okay. There's going to be people that are rude to me sometimes. That's okay too. And, some, and for me at the time, it was like, oh, if someone's rude to me, I can't let that stay. I can't be a pushover guy. Like, I'm not that guy anymore. So I have to yell back. Okay, yelling back is not the high value way of handling situations. It's not, okay? When people are rude to you, when people are nasty and they do, like, they come, sometimes they call them shit tests. The worst thing that you can do when someone does that is to react especially in anger. That's the worst, because if you show that it gets underneath your skin, that shows that that person can affect you. When a woman does this to you, you basically just prove to her that she can get under your skin. And if she can get under your skin, that means you guys aren't a good match. So I'm talking to my buddy and I'm saying like, yeah, but these girls are being rude. And he's like, dude, shut up, shut up. It doesn't matter, who cares? So he tells me this. And he's like, and I'm like, but what if she says something mean? He goes, bro, if she walks up to you and is like, you know what? Your breath stinks. Just be like, yeah, well, I think you're really nice. She walks up to you and says, ugh, you're skinny. And you'd be like, yeah, well, I think you got a good body. Okay. 
no matter what somebody says to you, just be nice, bro. And that stuck with me. I remember thinking that. I thought about it all the next day. And I was like, yeah, why wouldn't I just be nice? It doesn't make any sense. So the next time I went out and I was talking to a girl, talking to a girl that I liked. And see, she said some shit that annoyed me. That was mean. Some people would have reacted to it. Instead, I was nice. I was just like, yeah, well, you know, I think you're kind of cute. Didn't matter. She says something rude to me again. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I know, I kind of am. Well, anyway, tell me more about yourself. Didn't affect me. Says it to me one more time. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you want to get a drink? Okay. But after the third time, she gave up and then she actually started being really nice to me. And then we, she ended up coming back home with me. Now, I'm not saying the goal you know, should be to just sleep with a girl and be nice to her and lie. But we, she actually ended up being a really cool person for me to hang out with. Now, this doesn't happen all the time. If a girl's being rude to me, you know, usually in the end, I'll stop talking to them. But a lot of times when people are being rude to you, it's, it's a part of their insecurity that's talking. When I went home with this girl, she told me about all of her insecurities with men. She told me about all the times guys have like, been, you know, just been rude to her or like, you know, ghosted her and done all of these bad stuff. So she has a negative opinion of men or of like guys in my situation that are hitting on her at a bar. And so naturally she just gravitated towards that. But what, after each point, I didn't give her a reason to hate me. I was nice to her. And so what ended up happening was that she's like, you know what, I'm kind of in the wrong. And then she just backed down, she followed my lead, and as you know, that's the man-to-woman connection. You know, it was smooth sailing after that. We both got along great, okay? What happens in these circumstances is if you are the guy who reacts, if you are the guy that lets somebody get underneath your skin, you are giving them all the power. And if you give a woman all the power, well, then she's not gonna be into you. And, and that's something that, you know, I talk, this is a big section of the practical approaching system where I talk all about this and this different situations. And you see it happening to me. Like you'll see it in the infield footage. You'll see girls fucking with me, but I don't react. I laugh. I'm like, ah, that's funny. And then I move on. The more you let somebody get underneath your, underneath your skin, the more power you are giving away. There is no reason to ever argue with a girl, a woman, a person that you like. Okay, so I leave you with that. So if you can think in your life, if you are doing this, and I'm not saying just be nice for the sake of being nice. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna deal with that kind of person, dude, there's plenty of women that I've been nice to that ended up liking me in the end that I've decided, you know what, that, that girl's not for me. I'm gonna talk to somebody who's gonna be a little less rude or less insecure. And you're fully within your rights to do that. But if you argue with them, if you start yelling back, you're making a huge mistake, and that's a lot of wasted energy that could have been directed towards something else. Anyway, I'll leave, with you, leave you with that, you guys. And by the way, the Practical Approaching System is going to be available for the next two days. So if you guys want to get in on this, I'm going to be shutting off sales soon. Please click the link in the description box below, and I will see you there. Thanks a lot. <laughs>